Hey, quit watching me eat. Check out this mountain bike video. Hey everybody, what's up? I'm out here in Benton Harbor checking out the new bike trail that Whirlpool just built called the Lakeview Bike Trail. So let's check it out. All right. Like I said, out here in Benton Harbor checking out the new bike trail that was just built in this Michigan area. I think it's around five miles, four and a half, five and a half miles, I can't quite remember. I saw some individuals on the Michigan Mountain Bike Facebook group talk about this trail a little bit. I'm saying it's mostly kind of a flatter trail, but it has some features towards different parts of it. Like right here, looks like a jump, drop. Yeah, yeah. Now I just think it's great that corporations like Whirlpool are taking the initiative and in building some tracks like here to get people out there exercising, getting fit. You look at things like Denton Harbor, what Walmart started, and that's all it takes, a little initiative. i tell you what, they did a lot of work into this. Oh, my hip. Build some speed up. Catch air there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, you know what? It's kind of flat, but it's fun. Tell you what, guys. I'm getting a little old for my age. Yeah. I'm only 36. But I don't recover like these young boys do anymore on a night on the town. Riding a bike the day after a night out. Woo. Oh, look at this. I love these little wooden features that they have added throughout the trail. It is nice having them instead of just a little flat section. Good times! Like right here is a small little double next to this pond. Oh, that was fun. Hell yeah. So far, I'm really liking this trail up here. The Lakeview Bike Trail. Like Lake Michigan is somewhere just beyond these buildings, but I haven't seen it yet. I didn't see this. Oh, didn't quite get that one. Wasn't ready, almost dead sailor. Oh, what's this? Oh, cool. Well, let's, let me go back and try this. All right, you guys. I'm kind of nervous that there's a small, tiny little whale tail. It wasn't much, but. This section has a whale tail that leads you right into a jump. Now see, if you don't want to go off the jump, there's a bypass right here to the right. And it comes and splits off this way. Not everybody's ready to hit a double, especially younger people, new beginner riders. And it comes out right back here. I mean, I'm only like a mile, two miles into the trail. I'm really liking it. Oh, look how beautiful these colors are on the trees. Driving up from the South Bend, Indiana area, up here at Benton Harbor. Right now in the middle of October, it was absolutely gorgeous. The trees are all brilliant, vibrant colors. Now it feels great to be out here riding, but the seasons are changing, that is for sure. It's getting crisp, the air is, it's getting cold. Pretty soon we're gonna have to be getting the fat bikes out and riding the paved, or not the paved, but the groomed snow pass. Yeah, it's pretty flat, so you definitely gotta get some work. Oh, oh, rock drop. Now they got some cool little features, a little rock berm drop there. Oh, here's the lake, but no, it's just pond. No, they just actually did a ribbon cutting ceremony like three, four weeks ago for this place. Sometime in September, I believe. Yeah, the trail's really smooth. It's kind of a kind of flowy. If you like cross country and pedaling the whole time, you can definitely get some speed going on this trail. Me being kind of a fatter guy. Nice. Nice. I like my downhills. I hate climbing, but I'm getting better at it. Especially now having the 12-speed on this fuse. But I love downhills. I, mean, I kind of think about trying to go to a downhill park next year. Who goes what? Rock drop the whole thing. Oh, I didn't see this joke. 
next time think about trying to go to a downhill park next year and i was talk talking this the other day when i was at brown county that i bet having a full face helmet and the chest protector i would feel a lot more confident going off gap jumps i don't know what it is i'll try to go off a table have no fear of it really i mean a little bit but i see the smallest of a gap jump and my brain is like nope not gonna do it what about you guys is that the way your brain works when you're on jumps tell me down in the comments below yeah i like that oh it's a fun little trail man i'm gonna keep saying it guys I'm giving this trail a thumbs up, just like you should give this video a like and thumbs up if you're enjoying it. God, I'm so corny sometimes. That's the thing about being on YouTube. You gotta kind of be a little cheesy to come across enthusiastic on the camera. Because if you just talk normally, you're like, hey, how's it going? I'm on the trail. Yeah, it's fun. So you gotta be this much cheesy, maybe this much cheesy. But to me, I've always said, life is about the cheese factor. Because if you take, life too seriously it's not any fun oh there's something will come out here something some wooden thingy oh rock drop jump oh oh well, let's go back all right let's see if i can put a little speed onto this and make these jumps i suck at jumping but these look cool Oh, hell yeah. That felt great flying up there. Yeah, I'm not sure if a company came out and built these. I, I imagine so. It seems like it's the thing now where we have all these professional trail building companies that can come out and really design it, have the tools and the knowledge to build it. And then we were left with great things like this. So I've got your jumps coming. Oh. <laughs> that was a big one. I have a problem where I want to always like touch my back wheel down first instead of my front wheel. If you're watching this video, keep on watching because we're almost towards the end. Appreciate you watching this far too. You guys are the real OGs, you know, putting these trail videos up. What my mindset is, is I like to give individuals like myself who are looking at new trails to ride for the first time, I like to give them a preview of what they might expect on the trail. I don't know. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. You got some good berms in here, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. All right. Here at Section 9, we have these two awesome berms that go into this kind of larger tabletop. Let's see if I can do it with keeping speed. Oh, got too wide. Try to kick that back in. I didn't know I was gonna make it. We got two huge gaps on this trail so far. Fun. So I mean, this thing has something for everybody. Oh man, huge step down. <laughs> That's such a big one, man. You gotta like, be flying off that first one. Oh man, Lakeview Trail. Got some good jumps. Yeah. Kind of feel like I'm mountain biking now. Let me get something. Towards the end of the trail, there is actually a short, punchy little climb that leads to the top here where it has a nice little rhythm that goes up to this little small jump into a drop. But oh, I just well. didn't have the speed or the energy right we here have... to hit it. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, this drop, I just don't think I'm going to do it today. It's a big one, and uh, I just don't feel like getting myself hurt. <laughs> Craig and I are playing the safety line, and we're choosing not to go off this drop into this. I just gonna hit that bypass too because I don't know. Chicken out right now. 
that point. Let's sit down, dry. Oh. Still not clear those. Yeah, heck yeah, man. Well, this is a nice, beautiful day. A little chilly, a little windy, but sun shining. Oh man, that was a fun ride, everybody. Right back here, the trailhead. All right, man. Thanks for the ride. Cheers. Cheers. All right, everybody, appreciate you watching. 